Let's talk about Mad Men. Let's you, talk about it. Uh, I sorry, I didn't really watch it. I watched a few episodes. I don't like. I, I don't like old stuff. All right, I get it. I know it's new, but I don't like. I don't know. Yeah, it's a period piece. I've I've said this before, but I have a cell phone, so why would I want to watch stuff where cell phones aren't involved? That's hilarious. <laughs> Isn't that awful? But it's That's true. That's hilarious. I don't like. I, I I hated history in school. Anyways, now I'm talking about me. Screw the past. Uh, I had Stephanie Drake on. I don't know if you know her. She was on a bunch of episodes of Mad Men in a similar way. She was like a secretary. Oh, great. You did like one or two episodes right away and then got called back a bunch, right? So you didn't yeah. know it was going to be... Re- did you no. know it was going to be recurring? Well, when I auditioned for it, in fact, I auditioned for a different part and they had me read this other part when I was there um, and I thought it was a one-day guest star. That's so amazing. And basically, they you know they introduced these two new characters to the office that were these this new copywriter artists that are being introduced to the ad, ad agency, and nobody you know everyone's like oh these young little shitheads. Right. And we just slow we got hired. Yep. And so you're like pop up one day gig. I'm so excited. Dude, I'm so happy. Yeah. And then they just call you back over five years. Yeah. Well, I was I was or on whatever. I was on seasons two, three, and I had one episode in season four. Um, so season three was my big, like I was in a, a, a handful. Uh, it, yeah, it was, it was life changing. It's just like the gift that keeps giving. Yeah. And you know, it's like, I, I, it's funny and probably shouldn't admit this out loud, but I will. Oh, yeah. I stopped, I stopped watching it <laughs> season five because I was depressed that I wasn't on oh, it anymore that's because not, the, oh. o- the office, the, the, the ad agency split at the end of, of season three oh. and I was on the the wrong side of the split. Oh. And so my character sort of disappeared though. You saw me one time later in season four, but come to find out after the show is all over and they're doing all these retrospectives and like the WGA is like doing these panel discussions with the writers and all that stuff from the show. One of the writers brought a list of like 20 things Matt Weiner wanted to touch on. And if they could on the last season, there was like okay. all these different plot points or characters that they wanted to like revisit and they brought the the actual copy of the list, and let's say like ten of ten of them were crossed out, meaning they they had done it, they had written about this thing that they wanted to touch on, and then like number thirteen was my character's name, and that was it, and it wasn't ever touched again. But it was just kind of nice in retrospect and go, oh, he was still thinking about oh, Smitty, like it was. It felt it felt really good. <laughs> Did that, you ever ask him what what he was I mean, thinking? I haven't seen him since. Email but him. What are you doing? I don't have his email. How do you not? You can those, figure out his fucking email. Those guys don't want me emailing them. Okay. If there's one thing I've learned from this podcast, nobody cares if you email them. You should definitely email All right, them. Matt, I'm coming for you. That'd be fascinating to see. What? Maybe what he wanted you to like die in a crazy car crash. I or something. wish. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That's pretty I've cool. done that on uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I had like a crazy, crazy oh, death. Oh, really? <laughs> crazy death. I got ripped out of a like a, a plane like going Mach 4. It's like... Oh, wow. And they brought me back after I died. <laughs> How great is that? You got so many gifts Wait, that keep Here's giving. a fun story. So, okay. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was supposed to be, again, I thought it was going to be a one-day guest star. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and it turned into, I think, 12 episodes over last last season. Um, by, I think, episode three or four that I had done, they killed me. Like, I, I'm in this, this Quin, the Quinjet, and and there's an explosion, and I I'd, I'm played this, like, shitty PR guy for one of the, the new main characters, and... I'm trying to get cell phone signal in the plane, so I stand up to try to get it, and I take the seatbelt off, and there's an explosion, and the door, like, hatch flies open, and it, my character just gets ripped out of the plane. Then they find my body later, like, all mangled and, like... Wait, all- sidebar, did you do any stunts or anything? Or was it... CG? It was all... Gr- it was green screen. It was brilliant CG. But they, like, pulled you with... I had to, like, just harness? do a body okay. movement, gotcha. but no harness because the they actually had... It was actually a, a part of a plane that they used... The door frame was too small. They would have to like rig something to pull me out and then pull me alongside of the plane because of the airflow. Sure. So there's no way you can do like a seven right. coming out of the plane uh, safely. So you die in a glorious fashion. Glorious fashion. Think I'm dead, right? This is like November uh, of that year. Uh, I send, because it was, you know, again, I thought it was only going to be one episode. It turned into three or four at that point. I sent the writer's room. Uh, a box of cookies and and just all I wrote in the note was just like thank you so much I thought it was going to be a one day thing to turn into you know a handful of episodes like I'm a new father this this was not only personally not, not only uh, career wise a really fun opportunity but personally like to, to have the safety of some some money in the bank when you know as actors yeah. like you just never know where never it's know. coming from just thank you for the experience so, this is why you email people sidebar. Right? I know. You're right. You're absolutely right. Come January, I get a phone call from my agent saying they want you back on the show. And I was like, wait, I'm 
dead. Like there's no, like literally you see mercenaries chop my arm off because I have a briefcase like handcuffed to my arm <laughs> when I'm dead on the ground from falling out of a plane. There, I, there's no way they're I'm like, what are they doing? Flashbacks? So it turns out in the show, they're, they, they go to this like other world and some of the, some of the old characters are now, they're the same people, but they're different versions of who they uh, were. Yeah, yeah. And different dimension. it turned out that while the writer's room was breaking that story, that third act of that season and trying to figure out which characters they were going to bring back, my fucking cookie showed up. How did you hear that? How did you? They told one of the writers told me this, and they're like, "Lo and behold, somebody they were talking about it, and they were chomping on my cookies." And someone's like, "Why not Burroughs? Like, let's bring Burroughs back." In fact, they nicknamed me Milkman on one of the episodes as a little homage to it. What kind of cookies were they? I forget the company. Milk, I think the company is milk. Amazing. They're really good chocolate chip cookies. I mean, it wasn't even like I spent. I think it probably cost me like forty bucks to do it, but. I think it just goes to show like being grateful once in a while pays off. And checking in. Checking in. You're right. But I didn't, Let honestly, I didn't check in thinking, hoping for oh, anything. Oh, no, of course I, not. I thought it was just well, going to. obviously. No, really. Like, but no, I no, think a lot, I, of people, I get a lot of people do check in thinking it's going to, hoping it's going to be something. And that's, I've always shied away from that because like even emailing Matt Weiner, I don't want to do that because I don't want to feel like I'm saying anything to like, please put me in something. I feel I, I don't like that desperation. That no, that I don't thing. Think, I don't think anyone thinks that, but you. It's all I, internal sure, stuff. You're right. I always send a thank you card after anything I shoot. You're to, smart to wh- whoever casting or whatever. 